hello you guys and welcome back so as you guys can see i am starting to post a little bit more i will try and continue to do that the only reason why posting back to back is a little hard because i have to constantly record and as you guys know i record on my phone so it's not easy to just like constantly have all these clips and then they start telling me i have no storage and then it'd be like it'd be it'd be too much you know but yeah as you guys can tell by the title of this video i will be showing you guys how to make a simple and cute intro so as you guys can see from my last video in this video the beginning of this video i have a new intro and um a lot of people were asking a lot of questions how to make it how did i make it what did i use so in today's video i'll be clearing up all of that let's not do too much talking before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell to come back for more and more videos. Let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to say that most of my videos I edit on my iPad. Sometimes I edit on my phone. Most of the time I edit on my iPad because I like it better and I think that it's better for me. So we're going to get started screen recording on here, right? about now so yeah so what you're gonna need for this um this uh intro you're gonna need the apps cap cut and pix art here is cap cut and here is pix art so to start off we're gonna go to google when you are on google what you're going to do is you're gonna search up whatever color background it is that you want as you guys see my whole my intro is pink so i wanted to do a little pink thing kind of thing if you guys don't want to do that that's fine um but me i wanted to do pink i like the pink color and yeah that's what i did i searched up pink background and yeah it's already saved in my phone so i'm not gonna go looking for it but yeah all you gotta do is search up whatever background it is that you want it could be blue it doesn't really matter so then we go to pix art So then you go to PixArt. Oh, hold on. Can't see that. And then you're going to press the plus button right here. They're going to take you to your photos where you're going to pick um, all your photo. Or you're going to go on your photos and you're going to pick the picture that you have picked out. Oh, they got this picture. No. Hold on, you guys. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to as you have all the the little um thingies at the bottom you're gonna press the more button and then you're going to press textures so for me i picked splash 4 and as you can see it gives this little effect which is looks really cute there's also a lot of other ones you can pick if you think if you like that better but for me on mine i used you i went to um i use splash for so after that you're gonna press apply and then for the um little um for the little heart that was on the side of my thing if you search up like heart it'll just pop up but here it is and i just put it, it on the side maybe it's not too big enough to and then you save that i don't have to save it. i already have it and then you press apply and you save it so then you go on ahead to CapCut. One second. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to. This is stuff I be talking about. But you're going to press on new project. You're going to go to your photos. And you're going to pick the photo that you had just saved from PixArt. So next, you're just going to make that. I think it was like mm, four seconds, five seconds. It's fine. So next thing I did was, as you can see, of the little the two pictures of me what i did was i just went to my photos oh my god i went to my photos i picked the photo i wanted and then you're gonna pick cut out and then you're gonna pick remove background and then you're gonna put cut out stroke and you're gonna use this one that's the one i use there's a lot of other ones if you want to and there's a lot of color well you can pick different colors you can change the color if you want to but i kept mine white so then you're gonna put that on the side and you're gonna pick I'm gonna go to animations and you're gonna pick mini zoom that's the one i used but you're then you're gonna make sure it lasts the whole four four seconds and then you're going to 
you're not gonna make it pop up the second you're gonna like after a few seconds it pops up like that so it's gonna be like like that so it doesn't pop up immediately but it pops up a little bit seconds after that so then after a few seconds of that popping up you're gonna add the other picture that i used you're gonna add it and do the same thing cut out remove background cut out stroke you're gonna pick this one and then for this picture i didn't use the mini zoom i used faded in and you're gonna make the picture the other picture a bit smaller and then you can put animation and you're gonna put fade in so then your star starts to look like this and now after those are faded in you're gonna go to text and type in the name of your channel. And then you're gonna go to font. Don't really remember what font I used. Well, I know I, remember I used this one, but yeah. So you're gonna go to font, you're gonna pick that, you're gonna put it in the middle. And then you're gonna do it again. Type in your name. And then you're going to pick font again. And then you're going to use kind of like a, you're going to use a cursive font. And then you're going to put that over. And then you're going to put with the one, the one that's the normal one, you're going to go to animation and you're going to pick zoom in. Or what is it? Yeah, zoom in like that. Pick the zoom in. And then the one with the, um, the cursive you're gonna pick fade in so then your thing starts to look like this okay now we are done with that first part make sure it all lasts till the end of the four seconds the first four seconds okay so then once you're done with that you're gonna press the plus button you're gonna add the background photo again So then it's like this and then when the back and then you're going to pick in the middle to transition you're going to go to overlay and you're going to pick mix Wait, hold on. yes you're going to pick mix but with the first clip you're going to go to animation and you're going to pick fade out so it's kind of going to go so then it should just look normal. Wait. Make sure all of the other things like the um, pictures and the uh, things, make sure that they have an animation and it should be fade out. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, now that that's done, it should look something like this. Okay, so then that you're going to make that, I don't know how many seconds exactly, but yeah. After that, you're going to type in socials or connect with me or whatever you may like. I'm going to go to font. I don't really know. I don't remember which one I used. Then you're going to go to animation and then you're going to pick a typewriter. And then you're going to bring it down to like, I don't know, one second. Yes, I'm going to bring it down to one second. You're going to put, you're going to make it a little big and you're going to put it at the top corner of your thing. So then you got this and then you got that. So here's the part where you kind of got to focus a little bit. So then we're going to go back on PixArt. I'm going to just say this. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh you're gonna you're gonna make a so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a picture of your socials like your instagram tiktok or whatever else that you use so you're gonna go and you're gonna pick a blank you're gonna pick blank and then you're gonna pick stickers and then you're gonna search up phone and then it should just come up like that and then you're gonna add a photo and you're gonna add the photo that you took of your socials and then you're gonna put the phone over it and 
yeah, you're just gonna put the phone over. Uh, hold on. Yeah, you're gonna put the phone over it. Hold on. Pick your socials. Gonna make it a little bit big, and then you're going to go to stickers, search your phone. This should be the first one that really comes up. You're gonna put your phone over it, and then you're going to, if you have to erase a little bit of the screenshot, you're gonna press on it, and then you're gonna like erase around the corners or whatever. And that's what then. And put it over and then it should be fine if you have to erase more go ahead i'm oh, sorry like i've done this like three times and it's like i'm tired of doing it all over again but yeah then you're gonna save that and you're gonna do that with your other socials or i mean like um instagram tiktok i did it with my tiktok too and then you're going to save that so then after you're done with that and you save the pictures of the little phone and whatever you're gonna go to stickers and you're gonna search up logo of whatever you want so i wanted my instagram logo and my tiktok logo so that's the only social i really use so i searched up instagram and i got this so you're gonna put that there you're gonna press apply and you're gonna go to text and then you're gonna type in your social so and do that and then you're going to make it about the same size as the little logo and then yeah you're gonna save that and then you're gonna do the same thing with tiktok just search up tiktok logo you'll find a few just pick the one you like better do the same thing with your tiktok wait make them separately don't make them on the same piece of paper save that and then like redo it and yeah you're gonna do that and then you're going to save it so you're gonna go back to your edit on CapCut. after it types socials you're gonna pick you're gonna go you're gonna go to overlay add overlay and you're gonna grab the phones and you're gonna put it on the corner yeah so you, for this one i can just you could really just use any animations i am yeah we're just gonna use this and then you're gonna after a while after it pops up you're gonna press add overlay again and then you're gonna use the saved image of uh, that you use in Kaka of this little thing. You're gonna put another animation too, you're gonna put fade in. Well you could use it don't matter what animation you use, it's just that's the one I'd like to use. Yeah, and then you're gonna do the same thing with your You're gonna do the same thing with your Instagram. And your TikTok, which I'm gonna do now. Grab my tip the picture of the phone that I saved, and then you're gonna add the animation, and then you're gonna add the, and then you're gonna add another other overlay of the, the other logo with the TikTok, and then you're gonna put animation and you're gonna put fade in. And then you're gonna make sure the clips only last the few seconds of the pink background. So it should look something like this. And honestly, that is it. But make sure you. So for that, you're gonna press on the second pink one, and then for out, you're gonna pick fade out. So you can like fade out. And then you're gonna make sure that the text also fade out. So you can just go on each one of them and press fade out. I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, and it should be like this. And it fades out you should make it a little bit longer so they have some time to see it but yeah that would be it and then yours um and then it should look like this and you should have something a little bit like this and then for songs it doesn't really matter you can pick any song to pick the song that i have as my uh thing right now i think it's called like it's
it's a song by Janae Aiko. And yeah, but it doesn't really matter what song you pick, but that's it. You can make any type of changes you want. Like, you can pick a different color, you can pick a different heart. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly like it. I was just showing you guys how I made binds because lots I've got a lot of people ask that. But yeah, that is it for this video. I just wanted to do this quick video and show you guys how I made this intro because I've gotten this question a lot. And I just thought I'd share it for those who are trying to start a YouTube channel or those who want them a new cute intro. So I just thought I'd do that. So yeah, make sure you guys, that's technically it for the, the day. I'm going to be trying to post a little bit more from time to time. Maybe like, maybe, maybe two videos a week. I'm going to try like i will try to bottom my heart but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so when i post more new videos and come along on my journey my life and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys